hello guys so welcome to today's video and today we have a special video because i've been wanting to make this video for a long time many of you uh like for different reasons some people just like it for the adventure of it but others like to save money and they would like to do their own build of these batteries that we use as backup for our homes and if this is you this is the video for you today's video i am going to give you a step-by-step -step process of building your own battery and yeah i'll make sure you know where to find all the materials and everything and all the needed tools that you need for this project so come along and i hope you learned something i hope you have fun let's get on with the video so first thing first is the thing is that you need to uh, get these cells these cells are available on our website you need also to get a bms we have this bms also available on our website um, it doesn't come with these terminals and the uh, buttons and everything but it has the uh, pcb and everything available on our website you can check it out i'll leave some links below in the video and these cells are 3.2 volts each 100 amp hours and you can find all of these at a very very affordable price yes uh, to those who want to do this project because they want to save some money yes if you buy them separately as cells you will definitely save some money so you can check it out on our website i have the links in the uh, below the video so make sure to check it out and get your material when you get them when you have made your plans and everything you can come back to this video and follow it step by step and then make your own battery so the first thing i want to show you is that let me bring you close to look at the terminal arrangement so currently I have all the positives on one side and all the negatives on one side. This is not how I'm going to use it. I have to get them in series connection. So I have to rearrange them. So I'm sure most of you know how to make the series connection. If you are brave enough to take on a DIY project like this, you will definitely know that you are going to need to arrange your cells in series and with that you need one positive here one negative here one positive close to each other so it's not going to be all positive on one side or negative on one side because you need to connect the batteries with these connectors over here and it's more convenient if you have them uh, arranged in that order okay so that's what i'm going to do now all positive all negatives i'm changing them right now so this is the first uh, positive and negative. I will turn this around. Now positive, negative, positive. Okay. Then I keep turning them around until I have that arrangement going. Positive, negative, positive, positive, negative. Yeah, like that. So now that I have them arranged, uh, the next step is to connect them with these connectors over here and then I will check to make sure that everything is working well. I can actually check the individual voltages and just give you guys a good look at what we are dealing with. So I'm going to do that with this. Let me put it right here. 
Okay, I will move that BMS and bring it back when I need it. So now this can be here and turn it on. So I'm going to go ahead and check the voltage of every single one of these cells. I said each one is 3.2 volts, right? So let's give it a try. 3.3, this is fully charged. So that's about what you would see when everything is fully charged, freshly charged, like that. 3.3 all the way to all of them. all of them have the same voltage across everything is well balanced and equal and yeah exactly so i have checked all of them individually when i'm done connecting them as well i will go ahead and check the voltage for the entire system so i'm going to start here i'll leave my negative here and end up with one positive here as well so that when I'm, do I'm done I'll put the VMS just in front and connect it up so I'm going to start with this one I'm going to start from this side and I will connect all of them and we'll carry on from there so doing this is actually not so difficult This is a little bigger, so I'll shift it up a little and make room for that. Yeah. Okay, so this is how I'm going to connect them. So for my last connector, the, the gap is because the connector is a little bit longer than usual. Yeah, but this is the entire connection over here. And as you can see, it's really simple. When you actually have everything Together. It's a very simple build and a very fast build and we are going to go ahead and check it again so let's see what the, I hope you guys can see this yeah let's see what the entire thing is so as you can see it's 52 as we expected 52 volts across the entire thing and let me bring you closer to have a good look at what I have actually put together so as you can see one positive end over here and one negative end also ready to be connected so this is where I will connect them to the BMS yeah this is the entire series connection but you don't just go ahead and go strap on the BMS with uh, the power buttons and everything like that. There are some smaller cables that you need to connect to this connection. This is basically the series connection. And that's what I wanted to show you. But before we connect the BMS, I need to show you the rest of the connections that you need to do before you get the BMS attached, fully attached to the system. These are the cables that are needed to connect. Um, these are the cables that are needed to connect the BMS to the battery. 
batteries. Okay, so you connect these bat these cables to the uh, batteries, and then you connect them to over here. Connect them over here to the batteries, and you will you will be able to read all the necessary information on your BMS. So I need to let's see. I think I need to detach it from this. I'll see if I can because this is for my later video where I will. Uh, do it in a case. So I want to check first if I can manage it like this. Yes, I think I can. I can manage it like this, and yeah, that will be it. But you would not have them well cable managed like this, like when you buy them. You will have to do the cable management yourself because as I said, you might be doing this in a different configuration that is not similar to what I have here. So if that's what you have, you have to do your own cable management. This cable management is to help make sure that when you are doing it in our case, uh, it fits perfectly in our case. So this, I would not take it apart. I will just go ahead and do the connections for this. Five cables over here. As I said, it, it in, this whole set of cables includes a temperature sensor, and that is also here. Um, let me see if I can show you. So for each one of these, we have five cables. This is for the temperature sensor, and these four are for connecting the positive terminals of the um, cells. And it's the same until this one. Yeah. But you need to connect one white one to the negative, and the last one will be the two positive as well. So for this, so for this we have five cables each, and the last black cable, this black cable that you see, one, two, three, four. These four black cables are for these temperature sensors. Let me identify. Here you go. So this this is the temperature sensor, and you need to place them on four different sp spots on the batteries so that you can uh, the BMS can read the temperature of the batteries as you use them. So at the moment, I'm going to go ahead and start the connection for the cables. I will just follow the pattern that has already been established and that makes it easy for me. But what you need to know is that one of the white cables goes to the final negative and then it goes from uh, the, the other four goes to the positive uh, terminal of the cells that you have. One to each positive. So there are 16 of them and there are 16 connections is also needed to be so that's how I work over here. I'll go ahead and do that right now. Just to keep this down, I will put this on it. Then the yellow one goes to this positive. I will not put that down now. And then the red one goes to this positive. Then the brown one goes to this positive. And the blue one goes to this positive. And just like that, we have the first four connected. So this is how to connect them. You connect the white one to the negative and then the others go to the four positives of the first four cells and then you have the first uh, cable, first one connected. So I'm going to repeat it the same way for that, that one for the next one. the 
negative and the positive connection. This is the positive, uh, this is the negative, this is the positive, and it has that both of them are connected. This is the one end that has both connected. Every other uh, cell just has a positive connection made over there. This is the temperature sensor. So I want to get it just a little bit in between. Yeah, a little bit in between the two cells. So with this, you can you can find some glue and glue it down to make sure that it gets a good point to read the temperature from. Because the BMS needs that information to be feeding and monitoring your system. So yeah, the first one has the negative and the positive. And the negative is connected with the white cable. Positive is yellow, red, brown, and that's one, two, three. This is the fourth one, the blue. And the first four cells are done, and they are connected to one of these. And you take another set of these. You take another set of these, and you connect them to red, uh, positive, 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 positive. And that's the next one, two, three, four. And you have your next positive, and that's the next set. Then you take your next one, positive, 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 positive. And you have your next four, and the next one you take it and connect them to positive, 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 and you're good to go. So that's how the connection is made. The temperature sensors should be placed carefully on them, and then you're definitely good to go. So this is the connection over here. So everything looks good for me. I'm going to go ahead now. So the next thing I'm going to do is to um, connect the BMS and for the BMS I need I need to first connect this positive and then I will connect the negative over there. Let me see if it will fit. And over here. Yes, this works. So that's the connection over there and the power delivery for the BMS has already been cut off. Safety reasons. When we are done, we'll connect it. Uh, that's the key. That we need to, uh, take the BMS. So yeah, this is how I'm going to do it. That's the next step. Let's go. Okay. So now that we are done connecting our uh, our cells in series, and then we have connected the sensor sensor cables for the BMS. Uh, one thing we need to notice is that these are numbers. These are numbers, and we need to make sure that we are connecting the right one to the right one. So this here they are. This is number one. This is number four. Let me bring this for a closer look. As you can see, guys, these are numbered, and when you are connecting them, you should take note of that. You start from number one, from the true negative, and everything continues positive, 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 until you get to number four. Until you get to number four. And that's the same way you are supposed to connect them to the BMS. Make sure that you are connecting them from... Left to right. From left to right. And make sure you do that from number one to number four. So that's what I'm going to do next. And I'm going to bring the BMS and connect the power cables of the BMS. I would not connect the fuse cable for the PCB, but I will put the power cables on. And after that, I will connect the uh, sensor cable. To make sure that let's turn it this way. To make sure that the negative is able to reach that point. Okay, I need to make a little bit of an adjustment here. I need to change the way it's pointing. I need to make a little bit of an adjustment. Okay, 
so to make sure that the BMS is able to uh, the cables of the BMS are able to reach each side I put this here stretch it out a little bit yeah this, this will work like this yeah so now I'm going to go ahead and check everything this is off this is also powered off so now I'll connect the negative So there it is, we have our battery connected. Our BMS is also connected to it. Let me make sure everything is in view. Yes, this is how it looks. And before I connect the, um, before I connect the final piece of the puzzle, I need to connect the sensors. Before I actually let power flow through the entire thing, I need to connect the sensors. So as I said, with the connection of everything being completed, I will go ahead now and connect the sensors, making sure that I connect them from left to right, from one to four. And I will start with number one on the left, extreme left. Um, let me just turn it around. Yeah, so this is it. I hope you can see it. This is one, two, three, four, just like that. So I'm going to put it here. This is number one. Okay, so I have gone ahead to allow the cable some more room to be moved. And now I can connect them to the beam. So I need to locate number one. This is number one from left to right from this number one. So these sensors are going to give the BMS all that information that it needs to make sure that when you need any information about what your battery's current state are, you get to know it immediately without any delay. Yeah, so this is it. This is the entire connection over here. I'm going to bring you guys around to take a closer look. So over here, as you can see, this has been connected from left to right. One, two, three, four. Um, I can see, you can see this is number three. This is number four. This is number two, and this is number one. So once you are connecting them, you should be careful of that. So yeah, this is it, and it's done. Now I put it here. At this point, all I have to do is to connect the final positive and then my BMS will come to life and I can have everything working well. There we go. So at this point, all I need to do is to connect this wire to this wire and we, have, and we are good to go. Okay guys, so as I showed you, I'm going to connect those cables at the back you'd probably not see it so i'll just go ahead and connect it and i want you to pay attention to this part the bms would light up as i said lights up and that means there's power flowing through the entire system and at this point i can turn it on and check up on the on every part of the, the system, okay? So, over here, I turn on the fuse. And I turn on the power. So now we can go ahead and get a closer look. 
Okay, so now we can go ahead and get a closer look. As you can see, everything seems to be working. Um, our connection is really complete over here. And these, as I said, these cables are supposed to help the EMS uh, monitor the battery, and you can check that from here. So I go to the menu. on the PCB one for the environment as well I can go back now go down to cell voltage yeah so I go to the cell voltage and enter and as you can see each and every cell is being displayed over here all 16 cells the cell voltage of the 16 cells are being displayed and that means everything was connected correctly and your battery is set and ready for you so this is the entire DIY product, uh, project, yeah, it's quite easy and super. if you have this video, you definitely find it easy. Yeah. So we have the, uh, the BMS PCB available, we have the cells available, um, the cables as well, everything. So just go to our website and we will provide those things for you. You definitely save some money on it. As I said, it's about $800 for this whole setup. Uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Uh, if, you, if you guys have any other questions, you can go ahead and feel free to ask us. The next video, I will make this whole thing in a case. A case similar to that one. Not exactly the same, but similar. So I'll make it up, uh, set it up in a case. And that will also be my second DIY video. Come along for that ride if you are planning to make your battery in a case. This is for when you are planning to have your battery just anywhere, maybe in a box, maybe just on some shelves or wherever it is. This is for that project. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. See you.